Hey everyone, in this video I'll be talking about Render Forest and just showing you the basics about it and uh, talking about how to create animation explainer videos as well. Just a simple basic tutorial as well as just basically what Render Forest is. So let's just start with what is Render Forest. Render Forest is basically a platform with uh, a whole lot of tools when it comes to designing uh, videos, creating animations um things like creating logos and such so it's going to help you for example if you want to create animations so you can create a simple very easy uh animation videos to engage your audience even more and it's going to be very simple and easy to use uh and if we go around the website here renderforest.com you will see things like uh the video section where you can create things like animations intros uh, slideshows or even presentations and plenty more as well uh, that is for the videos and uh, you can also um, like build or customize really a website for your own personal domain so they don't really give you a dom domain you just customize your own website using render forest they've got plenty of tools to do so and it's uh, it's just a, a bunch of tools that they include for that. Uh, so you can also create logos here. They're going to ask you things like, uh, for example, the name of your company. And if you have a signature, uh, then they will show you like plenty of styles that you can choose from. Uh, afterwards, you just end up choosing one and customizing it to suit your business uh, model, really. Uh, so you really get plenty of tools here as well uh, and also you get mock-ups so you can have your products uh, in a more organized and appealing manner so if you have clothing um, a clothing store and you want mock-ups for it you can just use render forest as well to create those uh, and lastly you can also have uh, graphic designs included so you've got plenty of tools for that as well now let's like simply just talk about the pricing real quick i'm not going to dive deep into it but i'm just like right off the bat i'm going to tell you that the free version that they have is not really going to work for you if you want to really produce videos because this free version um take it as you you're just trying uh things out for yourself it's not really uh a matter of creating videos using the free version it's just trying it out and then if you like it then you can upgrade because for the free version if you want to create animations it's only up to three minutes and it's up to 720 so it's not going to be uh 1080 like for the pro version you get you get unlimited 1080 and it also it's not a limited 720 videos by the way uh, you get 500 megabyte storage and uh, not a lot of access to uh, stock footage and images and things like that so if you just come to this page right here you can just compare things and plans for yourself but you would at, at the very least need to upgrade to light if you're uh, really going to uh, be making a lot of animation videos for you for your for example youtube uh, moving on let's just jump into the, the tutorial real quick so if we go to videos here, you can simply just create a video by clicking on that. And then we select whichever type of video that we want to create. Maybe it's a presentation, but we want to create animation videos and explainer animation videos. As you can see, there's plenty more uh, categories here, like typography and uh, greeting cards, uh, other things as well. So let's just click on explainer animations. So here they give us plenty of uh, templates to choose from. So once we choose a template, let me choose one real quick. Let's just choose one, uh, choose this one, for example. It's going to show you a, a preview on the left side, like you see for this video. Introducing the- See it, and then if you like it, and you're happy with it, you can just simply create now. And then it's going to take us to the uh, video editor where we are going to be uh, editing our video basically now you've got uh, two options or actually three either pick one of these 
and you can just edit them later the text and stuff or you can type in a script so if you have a script for the video you can type it over here so you can just click on this type your script and then afterwards they have a built-in ai which is going to just match things to your script and create the video for you uh and then lastly you can just start uh, from scratch which is going to allow you to uh, pick your own scenes that you want and designs that you want by the way when you type your script here is like the, the the animation that it's going to create is going to be the same as the template that you have chosen so let's just start from scratch for this uh, for the sake of this video uh, so once you start from scratch they will ask you to uh, simply pick a few of your designs that you want to be in the video so we can choose, for example, let's make the intro. If we go to the filters on the left side, there's a plenty of filters here. Let's go logo animations. So let's say we want the intro to have logo animation. Uh, and then we choose one of these. Let's just choose this one right here, for example. Actually, no, it has the, uh, the premium. So let's just pick another one, maybe this one. So let's just choose this one. Next, let's do something else. So title animations, we want a title animation. So let's just pick this one. And then you just pick however more you want, whichever you want. Uh, so you got uh, character animation stuff. You can simply get that. Maybe campfire, really up to you. So you can just, let's pick this one as well and just call it a day. So once you're done picking the videos and images and stuff, so as you can see, there's plenty of filters here to choose from. Uh, by the way, there's also stock footage that you can just pick from here. It's uh, in the bottom left that you can add. Anyways, so moving on, you added uh, all that you need. So we have uh, the logo. Oh, it kind of canceled everything for us. So let's just re-pick them. Uh, and then uh, we did activity climbing. Once we are done, we simply just click on insert. And then, as you can see, we have the editing uh, tab here. So if you want to delete, you can simply just click on the uh, trash icon. If you want to uh, move things, you simply just drag and drop. So for example, if I have the logo here and I want it to be from the, uh, in the beginning, I simply just drag and drop it over here. So let's start with the logo. For the logo, you simply just, uh, is going to be down here. So you can either click over here and upload your file, or you simply just click on add over here and you can just upload file, uh, or maybe even use uh, a URL and things like that. We can also use um, stock images from Render Forest. So we simply just use it over here. We put the text, I'm um, sorry, the image, and we are good. If there is text, we add it here. Next, we go to this one. So it, this one has two text tabs. If you want to edit the text, we simply just click on one of them and just type, um, we just type whatever we want. Same goes for the next one, same here. And we are good to go. We can edit things like the fonts and the size of the font. Uh, and also, We've got matching scenes which we can choose from, which are going to be similar scenes if we if we would like to change it. So if we just click on this, it's going to change to that. But we can take it back uh, and make it this. Next, we have this one, another text. We simply just edit the text here and save and close. Uh, and we got it over here. Again, with the matching scenes and changing fonts and things like that. So you can add more and more, obviously, uh, and uh, depending on how, how long you want the video to be and stuff. So next we go to style. From style, you can choose uh, a few things, depending on the template that you have chosen. Some templates don't really offer that much customization, but for this one, it shows you like the transition and also the font. So uh, if we just choose, for example, this, transition we can just leave that be and next we can choose the colors 
sorry about that so it gives you a multiple color schemes to choose from uh, and once you're happy with it you can just simply continue on so let's just pick the first one the regular one uh, we can also have regular colors if uh, like custom colors I mean if you want uh, and then we simply move on to uh, adding a background sound here we can add things like the custom uh, uh the stock audio files that they have or upload our own or you can also add voice over over here and uh, i would not recommend adding voice over from here i would recommend that the voice over you add using a different editing platform because here the timing is going to be off and stuff so just export the uh video without the voiceover and if you want to add voiceover you just do it later on using a another editing software and then lastly after you add your background sound you simply just preview your file and then you export so that's really all there is to it it's very simple same thing goes for logos websites mockups uh, you simply just follow simple steps and you are good to go it's not going to take you long to learn it's very easy and simple. I hope this video helped you and thanks for watching.